Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm super excited to show you guys this 2023 Bronco Raptor. This color is Area 51. And if you guys know anything about Bronco Raptors, at least in this current times right now, these are very, very hard to get a hold of. So I'm really excited to show you guys this video. I've never done a Bronco Raptor before, so this will be new for all of us. So let's go ahead and start here in the front. Obviously with the Bronco Raptor, you had this Raptor specific grill. So it's kind of like uh, the F-150 Raptor grill a little bit. It has a big Ford logo in the middle there. Uh, it has a front camera. This one does have a 360 camera with a washer on it. it does have front parking sensors. These really heavy duty uh, handles right there. It does have the skid plate underneath being a Raptor. It does have these nice LED headlights and these are amber instead of the normal white LED like on a normal Bronco. So that's the easiest way to tell a Raptor apart from the rest. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, sets this apart from a regular Bronco, but the headlights being amber, you know immediately it's a Raptor when you see those. It also has these really nice rigid fog lights with this additional one that you can take off as well, just like the F-150 Raptor. Let's go ahead and come along to the side here. It does have this functional hood vent specific to the Raptor only. You got a little Raptor badge right there as well. Bronco on the windshield. It does have these fender vents as well and these massive fender flares. So you can see just how massive these fender flares are. Let me try to get out of the way here. These fender flares are huge. Those have 37 inch tires. These are BF Goodrich KO2s. These are really big when you see them in person. I mean, in video, they may not look very big, but these are, these are massive. See, it does have the Haas 4.0 suspension. It is adjustable. I'll show you guys the modes and stuff once we get inside. LED mirror spotlights and LED turn signal. You see just how much presence these Bronco Raptors have. They just really look massive. Um, you know, they're super wide, they're super square and boxy, and they really sit up high. So it's really impressive that this comes from the factory this way. It also has the Raptor specific side steps here. So these will help versus, uh, these will help to get in and out of the vehicle and also help uh, protect you from door dings as well. So if someone opens up their door, it won't hit your actual vehicle, it'll hit these side steps first. Hard top, all Bronco Raptors are hard top, by the way, the carbonized gray hard top. You can see just how fancy the suspension is here. You guys can take a look at that. Very, very nice suspension. It also has a 470 uh, rear end as well, a Dana axle in the rear. See the back has the huge 37 inch tire on the back as well. Raptor badge. And then Raptors have their own unique tail lights. So they are LEDs. So you have an LED brake light and turn signal and then you also have an LED reverse light. And I believe this is for the blind spot monitor, which this vehicle does have. And you can see those fender flares in the back as well. Really big. Also has a hook right here. And then when you get the tow package, the max tow package, it can tow 4,500 pounds by the way. So even though this is an off-road vehicle, it's not made for towing. You can definitely tow 4,500 pounds with this vehicle according to Ford. You also have an LED third brake light up there. Another little Bronco badge on the side here, it is black. And the Area 51 is a pretty nice looking color for sure. A lot of customers like Area 51. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we're working with. All right guys, so one thing that's really cool about the Bronco Raptor is that it's the only Bronco that has hydraulic hood struts. So you can see we have those two hydraulic hood struts there. So that will uh, that helps you so that you can open up the hood without having to worry about pulling out the prop rod like on normal Broncos. So this is the only engine choice in the Bronco Raptor. It's upgraded from all the other Broncos. This is a three liter twin turbo V6 on premium gas. It makes 418 horsepower and 440 pound feet of torque which obviously you're gonna need in a vehicle like this because it is really heavy, but this engine is very, very stout. It's also in the Explorer ST and some other vehicles as well. It's a very, very good engine. You can even see one of the turbos right there. It looks like it has a Garrett turbo on it. And then you should see another turbo on this side somewhere as well, because it is twin turbo. Very nice engine. Gas mileage is not the best. I think it's around 15. I'll show you guys the window sticker a little bit later. And then up here you have a little Ford Performance badge. So that's kind of nice. Just so you know that you got something a little extra special. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and hop inside here. It does have smart key access on the driver and passenger door. So you can leave the key fob in your pocket and just open the door. And if you want to lock it, you can just put your hand on this little thing right here. So looking at the door panel, you have a nice little orange accent right there. That's kind of like the theme with the Bronco Raptor is you have a bunch of code orange accents. So you have the orange accent there. It is soft touch right here. This is semi-soft, not the softest. Obviously this is an off-road vehicle, it's not a luxury vehicle, so there are, there are a lot of like durable, harder materials in here. These seats are amazing, really good looking seats. You can see they have a mixture of uh, Alcantara suede, sorry about the sun there, 
I uh, have a mixture of suede, also the little Active X on the side here. Very, very nice seats. You have power seats as well on, for the driver and passenger. Little Ford Performance badge there. All right, it is push button start and it actually glows in orange, so that's kind of interesting. So let's go and start it up here. All right, guys, so starting with this steering wheel. So this is an upgraded steering wheel for the Raptor. It's very beefy, very thick. It's really soft. It's a nice steering wheel. Has a nice little uh, red stripe down the middle there. You can see this one does have adaptive cruise control. This one's fully loaded, has every single option. Adaptive cruise control, it does have the carbon fiber around the steering wheel. The upgraded paddles that you get on Bronco Raptors. Code orange stitching here. Very nice. You also get exhaust modes, suspension modes, Raptor R mode, which is kind of, or excuse me, uh, R mode, which is like uh, my mode in Mustangs. So I'll go over that in a little bit too. Then you also have the steering modes here. Like I said, cruise control settings over here. Then this controls the screen right here. So you can go through like some different settings here. Bronco Raptors have their own specific gauge cluster. So it actually shows you what gear you're in. The gauges themselves just look different to begin with. Then you can see the little suspension icons and stuff down there as well. Looking in the middle here, this is all like a normal Bronco, except for it does have the orange accents. So we have the orange accents up here. We have the orange accents on the air vents, and then this is orange accent as well. But this screen is just like every other uh, Ford product with this screen. There's nothing specific to the Bronco Raptor. Um, it has everything just like a normal Ford. So I'm not gonna go too much in depth with this because there's other videos I have that go more in depth with this. But let's go down here. It does have a 360 camera, so let's check that out. So obviously the Bronco Raptor is a super wide, massive vehicle. So this 360 camera will definitely help you park it. You see you have the front camera 360. You can also make it full screen front. Or if you put it in reverse here with this shifter, you can see we have the backup camera and then also the 360 as well. Down here we have heated seats, no ventilated seats. It's not an option on any Bronco at all. You have heated seats and a heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control. And this is all your audio controls up there. It does have a wireless charging pad in there as well. And you get a cool little Ford Performance Bronco plaque right there. And then this is a USB. So you can have a USB and a USB-C in here as well. Obviously you got your park reverse neutral drive here. It does have a manual mode. You can use the paddle shifters like I said earlier. This one has some Raptor specific GOAT modes. So you have the two high, four high, four auto, four low. Uh, this I believe is, let's see what that is. Oh, it's trail control. So trail control is like an off-road cruise control by the way. But let's go through some of these different modes and see what we're working with. So we have normal, sport, tow, slippery. And then on the other side, we have off-road, Baja, that's specific to the Raptor, and then rock crawl. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's specific to the Raptor too. And the, the gauges will adjust accordingly, and it even shows a Bronco Raptor as like the display. So that's kind of cool. So we'll put it back in normal mode. And when you put it in some of the off-road modes, it'll actually turn on the screen, which is pretty cool as well. Up here we have our uh, sway bar disconnect, front locker, rear locker. This is trail turn assist, which will lock the inside wheel so that you can make a sharper turn when you're off-road. And then we have uh, traction control off and then hazards. And up here we have our automatic dimming rear view mirror. We have all of our auxiliary switches so you can hook up light bars, winches, whatever you want to these auxiliary switches. LED interior lighting, garage door opener, and then this is the hard top, so you can take off these two panels here. And then if you uh, get a little bit more involved, you can take off the whole entire hard top. So, and you guys can also take off the doors as well. So you can drive this car completely convertible if you wanted to. And then as you know, Broncos, they do have a cool little USB up here. So if you have a dash cam or something, you can plug it up there. One last look at these seats here. I'm gonna check out the back seat, the trunk, and then I want you guys to hear this exhaust and we're gonna take this Bronco for a spin. All right guys, Bronco Raptors are all four door only. The rear door is the same as the front. Let's go ahead and hop inside here and see these are what the seats look like in the back. They're very upright, so I'm gonna sit in here and see how it's like. I'm sitting behind myself, I'm 6'5", so obviously I'm a little bit taller than the average individual. But let's see how I fit behind myself. So I actually do fit back here. It's not the most comfortable in the world, but I do fit. So four door Broncos, they'll be able to hold a family just fine, especially if you're not as tall as me. There is no air vents though. I know a lot of people don't like that. Um, hopefully Ford in the future will include air vents in the back, but you do have automatic up and down windows You have two USBs down here, and you also have a house power outlet a 110 So that's pretty cool as well and Then you can hook up like accessories and stuff on the back here. You have a little pocket 
Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with the Broncos. And you also have a full down center armrest with cup holders as well. All right, guys, let's check out the trunk area. So this also has a smart key on it, so you can open it up with the key fob in your pocket as well. You can see Bronco Raptors have a lot of accessories that come with it. I'm not sure what every single one of these accessories are, but it comes with all of these accessories. So you can see Broncos, they do have a lot of room in behind the second row seat. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. If you have a dog or whatever, they'll be just fine back here. 12 volt outlet and a LED light back here as well. So overall the trunk space is just fine. And this is a little bit reinforced. It says Ford Performance for the Raptor. So they have this extra little bracing there as well. All right guys, so there's four exhaust modes in the Bronco Raptor. So I'm gonna go over all of those exhaust modes and then we're gonna take this Bronco for a spin. I gotta say, it sounds pretty good for a V6. Um, those exhaust modes definitely make a difference. I did quiet, normal, and then Baja. I didn't do sport because they're probably not gonna be much of a difference. And before we go for a spin, I wanna show you guys the window sticker here. So Ford obviously did raise the price of Bronco Raptors by a pretty significant amount. But this one has the Lux package, overhead storage, top door bags, 17 inch beadlock wheels, code orange seat belts, which look really nice by the way. Um, and some other things, some other accessories, leather trim, suede seats, carbon fiber, all that stuff to bring it up to an MSRP of 98865 So as you can tell, this Bronco Raptor is fully loaded, and then there's your MPG estimates there. One thing I will say off the bat is I love this steering wheel. Feels really good. Love having the line in the middle there. Let's see how the steering feel is. So we're in normal right now. Let's see what comfort feels like. Okay, so it's even lighter than Sport. Obviously it has a little bit more weight to it. Wow, that's actually a pretty significant difference. Yeah, Sport has a lot of weight, so let's put it back to normal. And these Broncos, even though they're super duper wide, I mean, you can see the fender flare in the mirror there, but when you're driving normally, it drives like a normal Bronco. You're just sitting up really high. And that hood is definitely really beefy, so that's kind of cool to look at. Suspension modes, you also have those too. So you have normal sport and Baja, or normal sport and off-road. So I'll put it in actually the sport suspension. We'll see how that feels. Has a nice turn signal sound too. All right, let's get going. It actually sounds really good. I'm impressed with how loud this exhaust is. It's like a perfect amount of loudness and this is just normal mode. And the trans is really smooth in these. A really impressive transmission. Because sometimes it tends to be, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, can sometimes be a little jerky in some vehicles, but the Bronco Raptor is really smooth with the 10 speed. As is the normal F-150 Raptor as well. So let me go ahead and change it to Baja actually with the exhaust and see how that sounds and there's some bumps in this parking lot so we're gonna go over these bumps and see how it handles it oh yeah it's like they're not even there I mean obviously this is nothing for a vehicle like this it's super capable but we can go over this bump with a little bit of speed oh yeah that's nothing when I go over that bump in normal passenger cars it actually kind of like shakes the vehicle that was nothing We're gonna go ahead and drive it back. Wow, that exhaust is loud in Baja mode, wow. Wow, this thing moves. I'm barely stepping on it. This thing moves good. Wow. I don't know what's going on here. Let's go down again a little bit here. Wow. This thing gets up and goes. I mean, I'm not flooring it. Obviously, it's a brand new vehicle. I, would, I wouldn't want to do that. But 
just dipping into the throttle a little bit, it provides you with a lot of torque, so you don't have to step on the pedal very hard. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the Bronco Raptor. By the way, this is for sale. So if you guys are interested, I'll put my contact info in the description. So feel free to reach out if you guys are in the Las Vegas area or you don't mind traveling, because Bronco Raptors are really hard to come by. So, you know, sometimes you might have to travel to get, uh, you know, the Bronco Raptor you want. But this one's fully loaded, it is available. So definitely let me know if you guys are interested. I'm gonna put it in the sport mode actually. So there we go, sport mode. Wow, the throttle response is even better. Wow. That's really good. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the Bronco Raptor in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.